Good evening. This is Tina. And uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about internationalization and uh, localization. Some probably you already see this one and uh, the other one is L. Localization, OK. This one is kind of like you provide the infrastructure to support different languages. And the localization is for particular locale specific support. Uh, in Spring MVC, the internationalization and the localization is done by using Interceptor. It's not very fancy compared probably most websites support multiple, la multiple languages. This one only support this one only configure for the hard coded values on the page, but whatever you save to a database, it's gonna be whatever you saved. It doesn't do that part. So give you an example, then we will explain what's gonna happen, okay? This is our page, and on the page you will have two languages. One is English, the other one suppose is called Chinese. How about that? Okay, uh, this is not a good. I want to erase this part and make sure they have cover all the parts. Okay, and uh, when you click this English, it will show the English for you. When you click Chinese, it is it will gonna uh, show the Chinese version for you. And what's done is uh, when you click this button. Click this link on the URL, it will append one locale specific variable like uh, ENUS. And uh, if you click this one, it will append language equals uh, ZHCN. Okay, and uh, in Spring, it's gonna use an interceptor to find out this language, then to find the, the locale specific properties files and display use that display on the page. And uh, to resolve for this, uh, sorry, to resolve for this locale. To resolve for the particular locale in Spring MVC, you have uh, three ways. The first one is a browser based, which is based on which is based on what? Accept language. What that means? Because we are using browser to access our website, and the browser will form the will form what the browser will form HTTP request for you and uh, inside the HTTP request it has some a uh, header called accepted language and if here specify is en us then it will grab uh, English version for you if it's uh, you are your operating system uh, is Chinese then it will have accept language is ZHCN so it will grab Chinese version for you so no matter you config or not uh, if you don't config anything by default it's gonna using the browser based okay you don't need to config uh, if you want to override the default uh, locale you can make a change on the browser based uh, configuration the second one is using session based Okay, uh, for if you want to have this specific one, you have to do some configuration. I will show you in next uh, video. And uh, for this one, uh, if you when the first time you access using the browser access the website, it's gonna using the browser default one, right? Okay, and then if you switch, click the Chinese. And for the following request, it will always give you the Chinese version because it's in the current session. But if you close your browser and open again or using another browser, it will first time it will always using the default one. And when you switch for the continue uh, or consecutive request, it's gonna using the one you choose. So this is session based. Uh, last one is gonna be the cookie based. Cookie is saved in the browser, 
okay and you can specify the what kind of cookie name you want you can also specify the expired date of the cookie uh, do the configuration in the in, uh, inside the, when you specify for what kind of a locale resolver you want and if you are using cookie based the first time still we are using the default one and uh, then when you switch those uh, locale will be saved into your browser and you, suppose you set the uh, maximum age is two days so within the two days it will always uh, using the one um, only use the locale and uh, the value you set in the cookie if it's a one day it's gonna one one day if it's uh, like a one week it's gonna be one week okay so we have three different ways to come to tell what kind of ways you want to to resolve your locale okay browser session or cookie and uh, what does in the separate do in this case in the separate do is to find this find this uh, parameter you are trying to use okay you are using the he will you have to configure which kind of parameter you are be used for this uh, locale and every time when you make a request intercept will process a request see what kind of locale you are actually uh, requesting then he will provide the proper message inside your HTML files okay after config and uh, inside your GSP suppose we have an index.gsp and if this index.gsp or any other gsp you have something like a support or let's using user.gsp okay so we can do okay let's use user.gsp suppose here you have something called add like have h1 add a new user h1 Okay, and then here you have uh, something called the label and the username. And here you have input and uh, uh, name is equal something. Okay, and uh, here you have another, you have a label, the in closing tag. Let's do one more, okay. Label, you have a uh, uh, password, okay. And here you have input type equals password. This one, let's give a name here. Password. And you have uh, the name. Yes, equals PWD. And here you have a, a form, okay? And you have another form here. Okay, no, 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 the leading forward slash. Okay. And here you have the submit button. Okay. And uh, if you want to in this internationalization in your GSP page, you cannot have those kind of hard coded values. No hard coded values because when you have hard coded values, then to do interna internationalization you have to give another copy of the exactly same file just that those values are uh, localized right and that's not a good because you kind of like repeat the code in different files so if in spring and we see way to do the internationalization and the localization what's gonna do is um, all those uh, hard coded values all those hard coded values will be in the properties files so you're gonna have uh, prop properties files which will be like uh, suppose we're using message dot properties file and uh, this is the default version default version in my case is gonna be the english okay you're gonna have something called a key value pair a uh, title equals add a new user okay and you have a username this is the key you are using user name and uh, colon and you have a password this is the key 
key using any value you want and a value is gonna what you want to display on the page okay and this one so in this case i'm gonna using this three key to replace here 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 and later on if i want to provide the full chinese version you can add just add another messages uh zh cn dot properties file and you using the same key but here you uh using the chinese okay uh chinese other news was a chinese uh, I, I, uh okay Okay, and uh, not literally translate. I couldn't even, couldn't think about it that now. Username, you using Chinese username. Um, oh, username. This one. This is the correct one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, sorry. Have, okay, this one is wrong. Sorry, sorry for, for that. that. Mm. Okay. okay, and the next, next one, one is a password. And here will be password. Okay, so that's it. And then what that do? When, when you switch here, EN, US, and the HCN, the interceptor will find the proper message EN, US, and message Z and CH promise file and use inside the GSP. In your GSP, you also need to get rid of those hard coded values, right? How to get rid of? Uh, you using Spring message. There's something called a Spring message which will resolve the key based on the code you put it here it will display the value on the page okay for for this for this one add a new user using code code is uh, to find the key to find the key and uh, you give a title okay and then you can also give default value suppose uh, there's, uh, there's something, something you didn't specify in the, the message the properties file, file then you're gonna use the default one which is a text this one is gonna be default if you cannot find in the properties file it will using the default one here okay like this and uh, corresponding to this one then using spring uh, message this is a spring tag library and using code and uh, you give a text and uh, suppose you give a username okay it's a default if you cannot find and the code the code for this one will be this one username okay then you give username here and the last one for the password for the password you just using spring message similar as you using gst or others code this one have a e okay equals and you give a text text suppose you call pwd then it's gonna be pwd if you can define if it find it gonna using the one inside the properties file so this one is a password so here will be password uh, make sure in your two properties files the, the keys match okay the keys match otherwise in chinese version it cannot find then it's gonna using the default one password pwd like this okay so that's all the things about uh, the internationalization which is a very pretty simple implementation mm -hmm. inside the uh, spring mvc use interceptor use different uh, way to def uh, to find out your locales and then using spring message which is a tag which is a tag in the spring tag library to resolve the messages you defined in the properties files okay and if you want to support for another language there is no need to change the code you just add another message uh, i know french is fr dot properties file okay and it will replace those other new user username password with the one you defined in uh, french uh, these properties files okay 
that's it. And uh, if you have any question, you can leave a comment. And uh, I'm gonna in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to actually implement uh, two languages. Okay. See you. Bye bye.